Thank you. Um, welcome to uh this thing that I'm doing. Uh, it's a uh, Pokemon Sword, and we're gonna try some competitive theming with some team, like some competitive teams with some Pokemon that I like here. Um, one of the main blocks, very right, and stout ones are the main Pokemon that I like here. The rest are um kind of there, I guess. Kind of support them. They're my two favorites in this team, and I wanted to make a team with them. So, as you can see, this is the kind of team I went with. I don't know how well it'll work, and that's what we're going to test here today. We're going to do one battle, but before we go into that battle, um, I will go through the team, and I might put a timestamp of when the battle actually starts. Um, I've done so, it'll be on the screen right now. Um, but to start off with, we have Stoutland. I put him at the top of the team, but no reason he should be at the bottom. <laughs> He's not going to leave the charge at any time, for the most part. Maybe in a certain situation he might, but I highly doubt he will leave the charge ever. He's more just going to sit there in the back and wait for a Pokemon to faint so he can use Retaliate. Which is one of his four moves, being Giga Impact Crunch, Retaliate, and Fire Fang. Retaliate doubles its power when a Pokemon faints at the previous turn. So that's kind of the plan I'm doing with him. And he's got a deck button so we can use his. Um, so we can do it maybe twice without me having to actually switch him out properly. Um, with the ability Intimidate, he. Also gets two minus attacks if the eject button plan works well, which can really help with his survivability. And the team isn't very built for bulk, but it can help out a bit. Next is Klefki, who's just an all-round support Pokemon. Just gonna bulk up these defenses if I really need to, um, which isn't gonna happen often because I'm planning on going more attack focused rather than defense focused. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, got Prankster so that Light Screen Reflect and Recycle will all go first, regardless of any circumstance. Uh, Dazzling Gleam's just the attacking move, for the, I just thought it would be better than Flash Cannon. <laughs> so, Talonflame here, um, has the ability Gale Wings, which will be, and I'm most likely going to send this Pokemon out first, with the hopes that it'll die pretty quickly, um, so I can get the Tail Wings and use it on more useful Pokemon. Talonflame isn't a bad Pokemon to have it using on, but when there's Pokemon with higher attack stats like Luxray, having the tail Tailwinds just seems a bit pointless on um, on the rest of the team. I on Talonflame, sorry. <laughs> But Gale Wings will give Tailwind priority, which is what I want. Um, that's basically all there is to say there. Brave Bird will also give a prior priority, so I'll try to use that a bit. Next up, we have Luxray here. Luxray is mainly just built there for attacking and punching really hard. Hitting the Pokemon really hard and breaking through its defenses. Not the best Pokemon for this, admittedly, but... Um, I just want to you Luxray, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, we have Pukimuku up next. Unaware makes it so that if it buffs itself, it won't do anything, which is good. Um, it has the moves Soak, Toxic, Recover, and Counter. It's there for building, for bulking up the team a bit and making it more survivable. It's a more defensive Pukumuku, physically defensive. So I'm gonna struggle against um struggle against more specially defensive uh, teams, especially because a lot of electric types are specially defense uh, specially attacking. But that's okay. I've also got counter on it just to have an attacking moves, just in case if I need a Dynamax up for whatever reason, or let's say 
I just want a Dynamax for a Max Guard. I can't use that twice, so I'll go for Max Knuckle. And I can stall with Leftovers a bit. Next up is Katana. Katana is the ace of the team. He's... I'm hoping... The plan really is to send out both the Talonflame and Katana in the same turn. Talonflame, Tailwinding to get it like so much speed. Like that's Tailwind double speed, which means it'll have, if it was in its level 100 form, it would have about 600 speed essentially, which is super fast for any Pokemon. And it would pretty much outspeed any Pokemon and all the faster ones. Um, I don't like using cheap Pokemon like this, which is why I've tried to keep them out of my team, but Katana's just there because I needed a strong, stable Pokemon, I guess. Um, it's got Choice Band, which I admit isn't the best item for it, but it's not really bad for that. And if I really need to, I'll Dynamax, not that my Dynamax level is up. I probably should raise that up, but, you know, it's built for just hitting hard, hitting fast, and all that. A few problems with this team is that it's physical based. It's got nothing to do with the special side. The most you've got is Klefki, the tech spell. And that isn't really much to go on, really. Um, but hopefully, I won't have to worry about that too much. Um, and another weakness is tr a Trick Room team. It's built around going fast and hitting hard. So, if I like, if a Trick Room team comes up, the best I've got for that is. You can really just, you know, speed. like keep it down. And even then, like Puky Muku can't do much. Um, I nicknames won't appear in game, so it will just be called Puky Muku, I believe. If it's called Hatsune Miku, that would be good. But I highly doubt that. So, without further ado, let's get started in this battle. Hopefully, Algodo doesn't mind. Um, so we're going to be using the double format, obviously. I'll lose points here because my last battle wasn't the best. And we're just going to go with Team 1. I have a second team up for renting that's a lot better than this, and I am really just experimenting with this team and seeing how it works. So we're just going to wait here uh, for a trainer. Hopefully I won't have to do a lot of editing for this. Um, But we're just going to keep waiting, listening to this music. Searching for an opposing trainer? Be sure. Uh, I'm still not too familiar with um, the new Pokemon that they introduced and all the legendaries in the meta, which is why this has been such a struggle to try get to work this team. Um, and any other teams, really. I mean, some of the older teams still work how they used to, but they definitely don't work as well as there's more counters to them. And I've seen some weird stuff. I think I saw um, a Cresselia with Trick Room and I had no idea what to do. I was like, I, I didn't even think it would use Trick Room, but you know. We're just gonna... We can't find a trainer. That's cool. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll get the next one. But yeah, there's some really weird stuff, and 
the new Reg, the electric type Reggie Pokemon. I think that's got like about 200 base, which is ridiculously high. What was it, top two? But yeah, that's ridiculously high. Effect. Like, even the fastest Pokemon, like Feromosa, I think was the fastest Pokemon before that. I'm not 100% sure. In fact, I could probably look it up on Google or something with my phone. But. Yeah, it's ridiculously high. I, I just don't know what to do about it. I also saw a Regigigas and a Weezing uh, together, and that's a good thing because if you don't know, Regigigas' ability is Slow Start, which is a hindrance ability, which only some Pokemon have. Oh, we're in the battle lab. But only some Pokemon have that, I guess. Okay, so... The new Moltres is a Dark Flying type, if I remember correctly. And they got the Dragon Regi, I don't know what to do against that. Celesteela, they've only got one or two non-legendary Pokemon, and Landorus. <laughs> you really putting me up against Landorus of all things? That makes me want to cry a little bit. I feel like we lead with Katana and Talonflame, and end it off with Stoutland and Luxray. I feel like... And we're here against Jose. Let's see if this team works. I'm very curious to see how badly it fails or how good it works. And if it works good at all. Or if we just get lucky. Okay, so that... I'm more scared here of the Comfey, so we're gonna... Smart Strike, right? Smart Strike? I feel like Smart Strike's the play, and if we need to switch moves, we can just Dynamax, as I said before. It shouldn't really come to that point, though, I don't think. Dynamaxing right away on the first turn. Interesting play, and I'm assuming that's the Mulk Trace, considering it was caught with a Master Ball. the plan um in case if anyone doesn't know why uh the comfe went first there it's because of um its ability uh which allows healing moves to make it go first um This is fine though, this is actually no, this is fine, we're going, this is okay. As I said, this is what we kind of wanted, and because of the Sandstorm, our special defense increased on Katana. Not that he had much of it uh, to begin with, but, you know, and they're buffered by it, so they take a little bit of damage. Normally in this situation, I might go Stoutlands, but I'm thinking of going Luxray here. Luxray with the super effective... Max Lightning might do the trick. I want to get, I have to get rid of that thing as soon as I can though. And I don't know if it is based specially or physically. Because that just would not have told me anything. I'm going to Dynamax the Luxray, so I'm stuck using Steel Strike on Katana, but that's okay. I think that's fine. I think we should be have enough resources to kind of deal with the punches that that comes with. Like, um... 
I think the only thing I'm really scared of is Celesteela and Metagross for the Steel Strike. I don't think the other Pokemon are really too much of a threat in terms of the Steel Strike. Okay, so we're going Vanamax, and this is so loud, I'm sorry for your ears. Ally switch. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad for us. Still doing a lot, mind you. But... Uh, not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I would have gone Beckaton as a big threat. Yeah. I definitely agree. I would have done the same thing in his shoes. So now it's just up to um, Stoutland and Luxray. And I think another problem has arised where we pretty much have to win in like three turns. Or like two, two turns left actually, two turns. We've got two turns to win this, otherwise the Tailwind goes out and I... The only thing is... Yeah, Celesteela, we're fine against. How low is the HP on Moltres there? Because if it's low enough, I might just go for the Retaliate on him. Yeah, I think Max Lightning on Celesteela and Retaliate on Moltres, that's what's going to work. Celesteel is a big threat, don't get me wrong. Celesteel is a huge threat. But Moltres is also a really big threat as well. Yeah. I figured the double attack on the Retaliate would do it. Pokemon left. He's got one Pokemon left. Okay, this is actually completely doable. We just have to win in this turn. Actually, no, not even. Not even. We don't have to win in this turn. But if he his last Pokemon is probably Randorus. It's just such a good Pokemon that why would you not have it as your last Pokemon? That threw me off completely. Um. Okay, I've been thrown off completely, I actually don't know what to do. I don't know much about Reggie Draco. I'm just gonna hit it with everything I've got. There's no use holding back. This is the last turn I'm most likely to go first in. Just go all out with the Giga Impact. Hopefully... Hopefully he went for that, uh, Stoutland. Oh, he doesn't even need to, because we just win! I knew that Tailwind was vital to winning that. That Tailwind is what won us the game and allowed us to go first every time. The Talonflame is absolutely a vital Pokemon to this team. I don't think Clefki of Kikumuki will work that well with this team, though, if that's the case. But... It did end on a positive note. The team worked pretty well, considering everything. I do want to look at Reggie Draco. These... These are probably hacked, aren't they? With the amount of shinies he has... Maybe they aren't, but... The date's all off, but that's just probably because he time-traveled, that makes sense. Maybe he just 
looks for. Okay, I want to see what Retro Tracker is all about. Special attack and speed, huh? That's not dragon type moves, makes sense. Uh, so it's a special attacker. Oh, that's actually like um, Life of Lava Plum and stuff like that. Actually, the fact that he has so much. Hmm. I'll be honest, this is looking very fishy. A lot of this is looking fishy, but I I don't know. But we did win a battle with that team, and with that done, we'll see what happens with this series. But wait for that time being. That's all. See ya in the next one.